We're going to go ahead and do a reading specifically for Twin Flames, for the Divine Feminine, for the Divine Masculine, just to see what is going on today. We have Mars, Sextile, Uranus. This is bringing big changes and a lot of positive energy. It also brings a lot of high energy right now, too, that we can be tapping into. Mars is all about channeling that energy into your goals and things that you're trying to take care of and do in your life. And of course, Uranus can bring us the energy of awakening. It can help us to clear limitations that are, we'll say, holding us down or kind of holding us back to. But this is like really good energy for seeing things that you may not have seen previously. But we're going to go ahead and start with a reading first for the Divine Feminine just to see what is going on. Remember, this is just a general reading. I always say only take what resonates for your specific situation. That's why I recommend doing the one-on-one -on -one phone calls with me. Those are under readings on my website, sparksofdivinelighthealing.com. They're gonna help you a ton. You can do those calls as often as you need to. I am an energy healer. I have a ton of healings, clearings, and activations on my website. Those are going to help you a ton. I also do twin flame coaching, which is great for helping you through the process. Oftentimes, you guys run into a lot of healing that may be triggered or come to the surface from the twin flame journey. So I always help you with that. I always recommend doing the twin flame coaching. <clears throat> it's going to help you a ton. But we're going to go ahead and do a reading for the divine feminine just to see what is going on. All right, Divine Feminine, Divine Feminine Collective, Divine Masculine. If you're watching, take this as direct messages from your Divine Feminine. My heart keeps coming back to you even though, even though I know you've lost faith in me. This is a powerful connection when we deal with Twin Flame. Sometimes some of you guys have done multiple timelines. Of course, you've done multiple lifetimes, but usually we have that scope of this lifetime too. You may have had to go through a lot within this connection. I see sometimes twin flames have to navigate a lot of obstacles, blocks, things that you need to heal, and sometimes even spaces of separation before shifting it fully into union. Sometimes it can be a lot to work towards union too. Everyone's blueprint or template is different that you're playing out within your love life. But oftentimes one thing I see that twin flames have in common is needing to heal your relationship blueprint or template. And your twin flame can sometimes trigger old energies that you need to purge to the surface, things that you need to acknowledge about yourself, shadow work, things you need to heal. It's like working on the things that are being triggered or coming up is huge right now for you. I feel like I abandoned you and myself when we broke up. I want to reconcile. Now, this isn't for everyone, but I do a lot of sometimes separation messages. Sometimes this is for you guys that aren't fully in union and you're, you know, you're working towards it. Or some of you guys might be in actual separation, which can even bring not a lot of communication and even a lot of distance between you. It just kind of depends. Sometimes these are powerful spaces for transformation and healing and even spiritual awakening though, when we start to ask why or learn how to navigate or shift out of these, being reminded, I don't know who needs to hear this, but being reminded that things can shift anytime, especially when we're dealing with some of the astrological alignments and ascension energies, we're also at a powerful thin space in the veil right now. This means that your loved ones in spirit might be visiting and you're getting more through. But also when we're in these thinner spaces, less ego and more connection with your twin flame. So this is a powerful time a year to be shifting your situation. Remember, things can shift anytime and you can consciously shift your situation anytime too through healing certain things or whatever it is too. So being reminded of that, I don't know who needs to hear that. Trust in the process that you're working through, moving through healing and even trust in divine timing right now. My, It's easier being with someone from my world. Some of you guys might notice that, that this is a harder connection. It's meant to be so rewarding as you do that healing work and you do come into union with this person, but oftentimes it can entail a lot of inner work on the twin flame journey. It's supposed to motivate you. So when you and your twin flame meet, doesn't matter where you're at, if you're in separation, you're together, it's supposed to be like a huge 
catalyst spark in your life that's supposed to motivate you to really work on yourself and become a better version of yourself. You'll see that your twin flames meeting them has changed both of you in profound ways that you're going through a huge transformation and even inner transformation right now. Sometimes twin flames meet and you guys still have karmic baggage. Okay, this is the karmics. You might have still have karmic baggage. Oftentimes twin flames have been through a lot of really bad relationships prior to meeting and it could be just things you need to heal from your path or your spiritual path that you've been through. Sometimes some of you guys might even be in karmic situations. This could be third party um, situations. They could be romantic relationships. It could just be um, things that you need to kind of clear and move through in your life. It just kind of depends on how this is manifest because oftentimes you don't see your twin flame coming. You meet them unexpected. And so it just kind of depends. There might be some type of baggage or some type of blocks. Oftentimes some of you guys are facing blocks to union and you need to look, pull back and see things from a higher perspective and see that this is also the universe. And just as you might feel there are barriers, if this is for you, barriers to being together fully, this could be other people, situations, whatever it is, the universe also, when you're ready, when you've healed enough, will remove some of these blocks. So when you do enough of the inner work, the outer blocks and barriers, obstacles, karmic situations, whatever it is, will dissolve with that work that you're doing too. So no matter what your situation, doing the inner work is key. Really working on balancing your energy and staying in that high frequency will help no matter what your situation. I still feel deeply connected to you, but I won't admit it. You're always connected to your twin flame. You're connected telepathically. You feel them, you think of them, you sense them. Oftentimes it is in the spaces apart where you guys are learning how to connect on that 5D level and practicing connecting with your higher self. You know you are anyways because you're getting a lot of spirit messages through. You could be seeing a lot of signs, synchronicities, hearing music, um, seeing angel numbers, seeing their name, seeing little things that remind you of this person, whether it's like their favorite food is chocolate cake and suddenly you're seeing that everywhere. <laughs> little tiny reminders of your person, right? You're getting these little messages because this is a very divinely guided connection. So this is something that sets aside the normal karmic connections of your past with your twin flame relationship. Oftentimes you're seeing a lot of signs and synchronicity around this connection that bring this person to mind. You might feel their energy. You might sense their energy. You might dream of this person. You might be missing this person. Oftentimes, and I know this, oftentimes you guys are feeling a deep, intense, and both flames feel it longing and pull to be together on the spiritual level because this is a spiritual connection. So the more you're tapped in and tuned in and awakened to the spiritual, you're going to feel this connection. So some of you guys that are really awakened, you're able to tap in on this higher spiritual level and get a lot of downloads, messages, insights. You know a lot about this person or what they're going through or what's going on with both of you and it just kind of depends. When times got tough, I gave up too soon. I see a lot of people at that point where they're kind of giving up. It's like, you are manifesting this. Your little reminder that you are powerful. You're manifesting this. Someone needs to hear that they may need to work on their solar plexus and to really step into their power to shift this situation. A lot of the work is done on the divine feminine side. I know people don't want to hear that. Right? A lot of this work is being done on the divine feminine side. And I mean collectively on the planet during this time to bring the feminine into their you know, higher frequency and into balance. Solar plexus work. I couldn't handle your words when you were upset with me. It's too painful. I say that when negative things are said. And it can be on either side. Oftentimes this is the purging and it gives you great insight. So instead of like, you'll take it personal and feel triggered. <laughs> instead, try to read what's being said for the other person. Because this is a reading for the Divine Feminine. Someone's saying something negative. Number one, they're probably purging out some of their own blocks at you and bringing it up. And this will help you to understand your Divine Masculine's mindset. And some of maybe their barriers and blocks or things, resistance, right? Um, so just pay attention if things are said. Sometimes this is stuff you guys are working through. Yeah, you're both working through things individually and even together within the connection. And, you know, usually we have a tendency to bring what we're working through ourselves into our relationships, not trying to because we're bringing our energy mindset and what's going on with us into these connections. So, you know, things might have been said. Don't dwell on it. A lot of you guys are really hung up on things that were said in the past or 
not seeing that these might be blocks that you need to move through um, and stuff like that. I need to tell you the truth. Throat chakra work coming up for the Divine Feminine. This might be needing to get vulnerable and show this person or tell this person how you feel about them to open up to a greater connection and to open up your energy more to yourself too. This is dropping the ego resistance mass and open up to that next level of vulnerability, expressing your feelings. I wish you were here with me. I should have fought for you. I know that we have a soul connection. This is a deeply powerful spiritual and soul connection. I feel so many twin flames are finding their person in these ascension energies hitting the planet because we're just hitting a high enough frequency to clear the karma, right? Because that's the biggest block to coming together with your twin flame when you have karma owed out with the karmics, right? What keyword karmics? then you're kind of stuck in these cycles. As you're clearing a lot of the karmic cycles of your life, you're going to come together more and more with your twin flame. This might be someone who comes in and out of your reality or they're in your reality in your awareness now. The more energy work that you're doing, the more you're staying in these higher frequencies, you're going to come into balance and into focus with this person too. Now, this is a hard, I don't say truth, right? Okay. A hard concept to get, but probably all of your partners, your masculines you've learned with, this is your reflection of your own relationship with God. And so <laughs> your divine masculine is going to be a reflection of that spiritual connection here manifest into the physical. This is why they call it divine union, union with God. So the more that you're connecting spiritually with source, God, call it what you will, I just call it <clears throat> source, then you're going to be able to come into this connection with this person because they're going to reflect your spiritual connection that you have too with the spiritual. This is why sometimes your twin flame can trigger a lot of doubts, fears, worries. <clears throat> so <laughs> this is why it's really, really important that you are working on your spiritual connection because this person is very much reflecting it in some type of way. We're meant to be together. I will wait as long as it takes for a shot with you. Some of you guys know that this is this is one more way that you can read if this is your person. You're not going to want anyone else. You're literally going to be done. <laughs> like You're not going to want anyone ever again once you've met your twin flame. And this can be, you know, can go many ways. But just know that, um, that literally you're not going to want anyone else. This is going to be such a powerful connection. You're going to know that you found your person that search is over. And this is one way that you know that you have found your twin flame. Some of you may be afraid that you've lost this person. And it is through going into some of those states that you really find yourself, right? And kind of contest the connection in those spaces too. If you've had to do separation, you know this is like the biggest testing space and you need to keep the faith and shift this into union fully, okay? I have past family stuff I'm trying to heal. You've triggered a lot of inner child healing for me, and you've brought up a lot of inner child wounds in me. I was trying to explain to someone yesterday, and then sometimes if you guys haven't done the process, you don't see what lies ahead. But that's why it can be really helpful to work with someone that can help you through the certain things. I feel certain things in order are triggered, and probably in order. And I did a lot of writing books about this. Right? A lot of things come up. One of the first things that comes up is anything you're holding on to psychically, energetically, karmic imprints. And sometimes we're not even aware of this stuff. We're holding it on an energy level. is triggered to the surface. One of the first stages that you'll go through with this person is it's going to trigger your inner child wounds. It also is going to trigger any attachment wounding. You're probably going to trigger past relationships. Stuff. There's a lot of things in order that are going to come up for healing. Um, and things like that. So it will trigger any old trauma to the surface. And you'll think you, I always say a lot of times people have done a lot of healing before meeting their twin flame. But you're still going to go through this energetic process that your twin flame will trigger to the surface. Old inner child wounds are going to come out too. Especially around relationships and around connection and things like that. So this person may have already triggered a lot of inner child healing to the surface or things you need to resolve on another level. Like you'll think you've resolved it, you got to go back in. <laughs> You're like, it's coming up, right? And so this is different things that might be getting triggered to the surface. Healing any type of inner child wounds helps a lot. No matter how far we wander, we're always energetically connected. Even if you're apart, 
you're so connected with this person. I always talk about the red string of fate, but it's much more an energy cord with this person. They're always cycling through your frequency that you're feeling and, and, um, and we'll say the emotional state that you're in because you're so deeply connected with this person. You share a consciousness. They're always picking up on your thoughts all of the time. Maybe we could say on a telepathic level, but on a subconscious level, they you're sharing that subconscious level as we all do. But then there's this shared energy connection with this person and that you're always exchanging energy. Now, the more open that you are energetically and the more energy work you do, then it's going to be a beautiful connection. The more blocked up, Eh, negative energies can really block up the connection and throw it off and throw you both out of balance, right? Because this is all about finding balance between the divine feminine and the divine masculine. So the more you do that higher energy work and you're unblocked, the better you'll be, especially as twin flames merge chakras together and chakra systems, even far apart energetically. Once you begin to meet, you begin to merge energy systems into one, okay? So this is why a lot of times you guys have a lot of stuff stored unconsciously within your chakra system, within your energy field. It begins to come to the surface to be purged out. You ever gone through those beautiful purges we're all going through at different times, especially around your twin flame connection? There's a lot of energy surfacing due to this connection that your twin flame has ignited in you making sure that you're doing some type of like energy clearing work. I have tons of those on my website. It's going to help a lot with things that you're holding on to. I didn't feel good enough for you and I knew I had more work to do. So when you meet your twin flame, you'll think you're ready. Everyone for union, you have a lot more work to do at that point that is going to come up too. So you're not as ready as you think. A lot of people get in the needy. Chasing energy is simply trying to control the external I see a lot, um, trying to really, really through the external achieve union without doing the work, I know. And then it brings up a lot of layers of ego. <laughs> You're like, okay. And, and needing to surrender and do the work and to focus on yourself, less on your twin flame, focus more on yourself to shift this situation and doing more of the healing work and kind of going with the flow of the person. But usually the divine feminine most of the time gets in that energy of it too. Um, so just be mindful if you're in that energy that it can be pushing away. We have this push pull that card coming up and this can create power struggle imbalances and things like that. So when you get in the really, really needy energy, it does it has the opposite effect. You'll notice your twin flame might even be pulling back from it too. So the solution is to focus less on your twin flame and what they're doing and to focus more on your energy and cultivating that frequency that is going to pull your twin flame more towards you. Our destinies are intertwined. You have a shared destiny with this person. And this is important too. This is a destined connection, destined lovers, right? And that you are destined to meet this person in divine timing. But however your situation is going to play out, this was also part of your destined plan. And <laughs> you're like, what? Okay, because sometimes you have karma to clear. Ugh. And then one of the worst things that can happen in Twin Flames is karmic energy is getting in the way. But if you have things to resolve, things you need to heal still, they're going to get in the way. So this is why the more healed you are, the easier time that you'll have of shifting this into union or having a more, we'll say, um, an easier time in your union. Your doubt, fear, and worry is blocking union. And then when you're stressed out, they're feeling your stress and things like that. But they tend to trigger these things to the surface. This is a huge thing for the ego too, because that's where, this is where fear comes from, right? The ego and things like that. We have to dissolve the ego, not just once. These connections are not for the faint of heart. You're going to go through probably multiple ego deaths. Those are always fun, right? And things like that. And you're going to be kind of pushed on that ego sense too. So you're clearing the fear, worry, doubt, especially on the mental level right now, because some, some of your thoughts, like I could see this are not reality and even if you think they are you don't want to keep creating out of the ego which is fears coming up so sometimes you have fears come up it's normal it gets in the way of what you're manifesting or manifest into the twin flame situation and you can kind of throw it off too clearing ego my ego got triggered and got in the way so you're you might be going through some type of ego triggering right now this is where the shadow work comes in where everyone needs to do the shadow work I need more time to process my feelings. You might be having a lot of heavy emotions come up. I think this is important too. All right, protect your energy right now. I know it's signs of the times on planet Earth and you're needing to. There's a lot of people that are still asleep, disconnected, 
and it can be a little bit draining to deal with, right? As you're, as you're doing the work, you're going to become more and more magnetic to everyone. Use discernment right now. Just have good boundaries with people. Like I, me and my twin flame keep having these talks about boundaries. Even today we had one about having good boundaries is so needed with a lot of people, especially if you're very, very spiritual or you've had a spiritual awakening. Needing to practice boundaries. All right, this is a very passionate connection. Some of you guys are in union. Some of you guys are going to shift this into union and you're going to come into union. If you're apart, there's strong chemistry. You know they're missing you all of the time too. Okay, but we have a couple things that might be getting in the way of this connection. For some, this is just toxicity. Whatever relationship patterns you need to heal, these got to go. They're mirroring them back to you. Sometimes this is the harder harder to understand that they mirror back your own issues to you <laughs> you're like what what you're seeing in your twin flame you need to heal within yourself and when you do heal that within yourself you will heal it for both of you so they're mirroring certain things to you with whatever they've been showing you time to clear any toxicity from this connection through healing yourself too so this could be addictions this could be any type of drama coming up whatever it is this is your twin flame and this is the, my 1111 number. 1111 is going to be lit this year. We're going into Somain right now, which is really the Pleiades at the highest space, right? So we're, we get a lot of Pleiadian energy. I know we forget where our holidays come from. <laughs> we're like modern day Halloween and we all kind of forget. Okay, this is the Pleiades on Halloween. We'll reach their highest in the sky and we get flooded with a lot of Pleiadian energy enough to awake the dead, I suppose, right? So this is a thin space in the veil. We're in a lot of galactic energies right now. And then of course, we're gonna go into November. Sorry to get too ahead of us, right? And then we have a lot of really, really powerful days. So we of course have Somain, and we have um, All Saints Day, All Souls Day. And then of course, we have the 11-11 portal coming at us for November. This is gonna be huge for your specific situation. Maybe something's gonna happen with you. This could be if you're in separation, talking to your twin flame, coming back together. If in union, just beautiful energies and things like that. So something is gonna happen in a positive way for you. A nice positive shift coming with that porthole. These portholes are getting big. We have another one, which is 11-1, is a powerful gateway too. So some of you guys, however, might be in this runner chaser loop. So if you are feeling that needy, anxious chaser energy and your twin flame is avoiding you, or we call that running, right? Pull back, work on yourself. The second you do and you shift out of that energy, they do too. <laughs> like, right? All right, trust in divine timing with this connection with some of you guys. If you're manifesting it, your manifestations are working. You need to trust that, that everything's coming to you in that divine timing that you're manifesting. Okay, so a lot of you guys are entering into the unknown, right? This is new dimensions <laughs> within your soul. This is really following spirit and tapping into the synchronicity, the magic, and this deeper soul alignment that is trying to guide you. I was making a joke yesterday. Your ego, because we have all these ego messages, is like, I'm done. And your soul is whispering, keep going. You're almost there. <laughs> You're like, what? <laughs> I know. Okay, so it's a little bit of that going on too. Okay, you might be, this person might be watching you from a distance or watching your social media, especially when you guys feel like <clears throat> when you're in this separation and there, there's no communication or not a lot of it, they're always checking up on you. They're always tapping in astrally. They're always checking up on your social media and you guys can probably feel that or sense that in some type of way. Some of you guys are needing to take a break right now and to slow down and to like work on your energy and things like that take a step back, work on your energy, wait for some signs. Some of you guys are being guided to work on other areas of your life. <clears throat> this is like other areas of your life flourishing. And this is like your job. This is your money, your career, whatever it is. This could be a really good time for starting projects and things like that. Some of you guys are really in this cocoon phase <clears throat> too right now and you're in your cocoon. So we have a lot of people just getting into their cocoon, right? And to work on themselves and things like that. <clears throat> we have the moon coming up right now. We have a powerful um, Scorpio new moon on the first too. And this is really, really going to be a powerful moon for twin flames for bringing things up, but also bringing a powerful 
transformation and healing. So today we're dealing with a lot of Mars energy. Mars, Scorpio is interesting because it's ruled both by Mars and Pluto. So you'll be like, what? Because <laughs> you know, right? it is a water sign ruled by Pluto. However, it's got that fiery energy too. <clears throat> this is things coming up, but this is clearing negative energy from your life, okay? Some of you guys, as you're clearing more and more layers that come up, and clearing the negative energy, this could be going through purges or doing lots of energy clearing work that you're being guided to do. You're going to notice that your intuition is on fire, that you're more and more intuitive and that you're more and more tuned in because these layers of trauma and negative energy were blocking your intuition. And so the more that you're clearing your energy and taking care of your energy right now, the more you're uncovering, I always say your spiritual gifts, your intuition and kind of tapping into that. We have another card about the moon the chariot is always a moon card too as this is a cancer sign it's always ruled by that too this is like once again solar plexus is coming up again in this reading for divine feminine this is overcoming obstacles and moving forward with like a lot of speed things are going to start to move forward fast as you're clearing certain things okay so i'll go ahead and tell you when we deal with the solar plexus some of you guys are empaths especially if you're a twin flame a lot of you guys are psychically sensitive you're empaths you might be healers, you know, you gifted, we'll say. But a lot of you guys are very sensitive to negative energies, especially if you're experiencing a spiritual awakening. You're becoming more and more sensitive to negative energies, which can pool up in your solar plexus. Important that you're taking care of your solar plexus of all chakras. When you do energy clearing work, it helps to remove energies you've picked up that are not your own, especially if you're peopling a lot, you're absorbing energy, you're at your job, you're in toxic energy, right? You're absorbing it. It's very important that you're clearing your energy more. A lot of you guys have a lot of old emotions and emotional energy, childhood wounds, traumas, energies you picked up that weren't great, karmic energies, needing to clear a lot of this stuff too. So oftentimes Twin Flame will bring a lot of intense emotions that you didn't even know you had to the surface. This is really negative energy that you're clearing. So just know that too. All right, we have the Three of Wands and this is like, eh, it's in reverse. There's a block here. Some of you guys might be needing to clear this block to focus on your spiritual growth this is a connection that is going to help you to expand fast and to grow spiritually sometimes that's what it's all about too <laughs> you know, right you're like what it's here to awaken you it is here to put you into all of this stuff and you're like what okay so we have a block here maybe needing to focus a little bit more on your spiritual growth and the travel and the journey of it and maybe not so much be a lot of people get really focused on the destination right like, oh, we'll get into union and I'll be in this utopia. You know, you keep going. You <laughs> mean union. So you reach union, you keep going. And it's going to be the same work coming up. So oftentimes, prior to coming into full union or working towards union or separations, this is where the work needs to be done so that you have an easier time in union and you're not having all that garbage come up later. <laughs> okay. So these spaces are needed. So honor your journey, no matter where you're at in the twin flame journey, that it is needed. Every season is needed, right? To do the healing so that you can get where you're needing to go and have a smoother time later. The more work that you're doing in this space is going to help you later. I always joke around and I say, I'm doing a lot of moves so that I have an easier time later. So the, the work you're doing today, your future self will thank you for it. <laughs> You'll have an easier time later, okay? So make sure you're putting in the work now in this space and the healing work. This is about the spiritual work too. So we have the seven of pentacles and this shows me your mindset because this is the second time I've got this message. You're giving up on your manifestation. Some of you guys, you might not think that you are, but you're just like, you know, it might be the ego. Ego gets triggered. A lot of you guys don't want to, don't want to, I don't know, I want to say play ball. <laughs> ego gets triggered. And I can always tell, like, oh, some of you guys are giving up a little on your manifestations or seeing lack of growth or not seeing the results you want. If that is you, hit me up on my website. We will go into this. I will help you with it. Sometimes some of you guys, it's okay, might not know how to shift this situation. Not everyone is an energy worker, and we're talking about shifting the energy behind things. So get some help if that is you and you're feeling like that. Get some help. Always book a call on my site. It'll help a ton. Okay, we have the Fool in reverse. So these are a couple blocks coming up once again. This is supposed to be, you're supposed to be in this reunion, new beginning energy, things moving, but instead we have lack of faith. And, you know, this is the mindset then. It's always the mindset, right? So some of you guys, uh, you might be questioning things. You might be unsure about things. You might be letting negative thoughts take over. And negative thoughts become your reality. 
Um, so sometimes, you know, you're going good and then look, things can get thrown off or whatever. If you're feeling like you're not seeing the results you want, um, you're not where you want to be, book a call, book a clearing on my site. It's going to help a lot. So Divine Feminine, more clearing work and solar plexus work coming up for this reading. I think I'm back. I'm not doing videos for a few days. I think I am back um, Wednesday for videos. I'll be doing healings the whole time, of course, through my website, sometimes social media. Uh, <laughs> not funny, right? I spend a lot of time on social media, right? But I will be around for my website if you guys need healing. So readings and videos, I'll be back Wednesday. But if you guys need healings, you guys, I'll be around for the weekend doing healings if you need them still. I'm always around same day um, for the reading for the healings anyways. I always do usually read-ins are next day, right? Or I get you right in usually next day, but I will be around for healings this weekend. And if you need a reading, just book it on my site and I'll get you an appointment. And I always get you right in with this stuff. Okay, so we're gonna do a reading for the divine masculine. I have um, healings up for today that are really, really good too. I'm working with that Mars alignment energy, Uranus alignment energy. I have some healings up. I messed up on today's clearing on my price and left it. <laughs> so if anyone wants today's clearing, it's super cheap price. That won't be happening again, right? If you need um, a twin flame clearing, the one I have up for today in my shop is really cheap. You guys can always do anything in my shop anyways that's up there like all the time. Okay, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, if you're watching, direct messages from your masculine. I feel like you are on the other side of my every breath. They feel your energy and they feel it strong. If this is a good thing, you're going to feel good, right? If you're not feeling good, uh, well, um, so they feel your energy very strongly. They're picking up on a lot. I know we've been together in past lives. I recognize you. You are never a stranger to me. They know this is a past life connection. I say you have a psychic knowing, right? There's certain things you just know about this connection. So they know. They might not be able to put their finger on it, but they know that. You're the love of their life. They know you're the one. They know you're the flame. And I always say pay attention to the divine masculine because they're going to know their person. I know they they were and it's, that's the word no right they're gonna know the connection they're gonna know this that you're their person. I'm working on myself so I can give you the love and relationship you deserve. So they've been working on themselves. They've been working on healing certain things within themselves so that they can be the romantic partner that you deserve. Some of you guys that have been, we'll say the process feels slow to you. You've been through a lot of work. And it just depends on what is needed. Remember that you're both becoming the partners that you each deserve and that there have been things that needed to be worked through or needed to be healed. Um, so just as we talked about the Divine Feminine side, this is a reading for the Divine Masculine side. They have had a lot triggered to the surface energetically that they've had to deal with. They've been releasing a lot. This could have been, we're doing Halloween, so main vibes, skeletons in their karma closet, inner child wounds, relationship wounds. There's been a lot of wounding that has come to the surface that they've had to acknowledge and heal. You were my sanctuary. You were the only person I could confide in and I betrayed your trust. There might be trust issues that you guys need to repair or heal within this connection. I want you to see the real me now. I've been hiding from our love for too long. And this is like, you guys can see each other deeply and it's not just wounds and flaws and the negativities, but it's also you share the strengths. You share the good qualities with each other. They reflect your best aspects too, right? It's not just things that need to be healed because that will come up and throw off the frequency. But also the strengths, you guys might have a lot in common with certain things or be into some of the same things. They reflect back all of your light aspects too. Our beliefs were just too different. I couldn't reconcile mine to yours. You guys have might have different backgrounds. Um, in many ways, you might have different belief systems, right? And this is to help you guys to heal certain things and coming together. It's like twin flames each have their own path in each lifetime. And when you guys do crisscross and come back together in the spaces of union, because you will across many lifetimes, it's almost like you're each like a computer 
and you've been, you know, uploading a lot of data, knowledge and learning, right? Each individual, when you come back into union, it's like you plug into each other and upload it into one supercomputer and things like that. So very fast when you meet, you begin to absorb each other's knowledge, things you guys do, traits, whatever it is, you kind of merge together on that aspect. So you learn rapidly with your twin flame, very, very fast. You begin to absorb each other's lessons and things like that. They will never compare to you. This person knows that no one can ever compare to you. It could be the feeling you give them. I've been manifesting you. This divine masculine has been manifesting you or manifesting you into their life or manifesting union. I want to make you happy. I miss your smile. I ran because I wasn't ready for you. If you guys are dealing with that kind of dynamic, maybe some of you guys can see there's obvious obstacles, problems, or things your masculine needs to work on. So if you do have that dynamic, sometimes it's obvious, like no communication um, block. Sometimes it's less obvious, like pulling back or, you know, whatever it is, avoidance patterns. This person might be, may have, hopefully in the past, may have needed to work on some things within themselves. I don't know how to handle my emotions right now. They might be feeling a lot of strong emotions about you and might need time to work that out. I want to kiss you. <laughs> Have faith in the universe. This is bigger than both of us at the moment. And so you need to trust in the universe and the universal energy that is guiding you, the source energy guiding you right now, that this is some type of blueprint that you're both a part of playing out that is much bigger than both of you. It's why you both and this is a reading for masculine divine masculine needs to follow your inner guidance right now this is your compass leading you forward ha okay so have faith that this is much bigger than both of you at the moment there was a lot left unsaid between us I search for you in every lifetime. This is a deep past life connection. So, so this is past life stuff coming up. We have a lot of Chiron astrology. This might be awakening you to the past life connection. You might get deja vu. You might have dreams of each other. You might get senses. You might be picking up on messages about the past life connection. Divine masculine awakening to the connection and awakening to the past life connection. I want to start over with you. And so some of you guys are going to do a new cycle. With this person, it just kind of depends on how that will manifest. Um, so just kind of know that too. So. Okay, so there might be some type of hesitation. Divine masculine's healing past heartbreak, broken trust, and afraid to move forward. This could be with you, divine feminine, of things that have happened or just from relationships from their past that they came into twin flame with some of these issues, we'll say. Um, it just kind of depends. So just be mindful of that. If you guys are navigating some issues like that, or if they have trust issues, or they're trying to move slow, my soul recognizes yours and longs to be with you. This person may have been through a lot of loss. And once again, this is ego death card for my masculine. They're trying to find themselves again. Um, and they might be, you know, putting themselves back together, their pieces. This is someone who's trying to rise above any obstacles and like continue to raise your frequency. Your frequency is going up fast the more you're working on it, Divine Masculine. You got to work on your energy, right? Or we just stay still. Okay, work on your frequency. Continue to raise up your frequency. It's going to help. You know that this is your twin flame, this connection. If anyone's questioning it, you can do a reading with me. I can always help you with tapping into that and seeing the energy of it. This person's healing a lot of root chakra and family issues. This might be someone that desires a family with their twin flame or has previous children or even just healing inner child wounds coming up. Something is coming up in this area. They might envision a future with their divine feminine in that way. It just depends. They're clearing a lot of hurt from their energy. This could be previous hurts and things like that. All right, this divine masculine is tapping into you. They might be someone who's doing tarot cards or getting readings, or just looking at your social media. This is like, they're very interested in you and what you're doing. They might be finding a way to tap into you. Once again, like I said, they could be doing tarot. All right, if there's been a separation, they they are tired of it, they're sick of it, they don't like these cycles, they're kind of over it. They might have even hit like rock bottom at a point with their life falling apart because of it karmically. Um, and some type of karmic cycle they want to reconcile that if you guys are apart they want to resolve the issues they want to get back together if you're in union they just want more harmony in the connection and to get along better 
And they might be kind of testing you, Divine Feminine, to see how you feel about them. Okay, so we have, <clears throat> we're doing these cards. We have the Hermit in reverse. So they might have been like, this is when we have the, they might have been withdrawing too much and they're ready to get out of the cocoon. And this is like, some of you guys need to find balance. Like, I know you're trying to protect your energy and isolate and stay in your vibe. But when you guys are not living life, like you got to get outside your comfort zone and you got to get out of your bubble. Right? Time to get out of your bubble for this divine masculine and get back into the world and things like that. So this is like they might be ready to come out of their cocoon and get out a little bit more. This could be with their divine feminine and doing more and like getting out and like having fun with you, divine feminine. Expect like if you're with this person going on more dates, doing more things together. If you're in separation, they're ready to shift out of that healing healing space and back together. All right, working together. This is teamwork. Some of you guys actually work with this person. <laughs> like, right? And it's like you might notice that, that you have these gifts that go really nice together. You're being guided to work together more in this connection. And that's important too because that's a partnership for a reason, right? You're kind of coming and meeting in that middle space when you are together and working on things together. Um, but there might have been like, it just kind of depends. I have my Five of Swords card and, and stuff like that. There might have been you guys weren't getting along or something like that or not getting as long as not getting along as well as you'd like. Like if not fully in union, right? You're ready to shift this into union. It just kind of depends. And I have my Ace of Swords in reverse. And these are always new beginning energy, but there's some type of blocks. And this like this masculine might have, you know, communication blocks and they might not be telling you how they feel and stuff like that for some it could have been not getting along this isn't for everyone but there's some type of block here with the throat chakra and them needing to open up about communicating and telling you how they feel and things like that so we have the emperor in reverse and this is fear of abandonment and being let down you might have triggered unknowingly some type of rejection or abandonment wounds twin flames that will have to navigate both to heal them and this will go back to earlier relationships or even childhood this person has a lot of abandonment trauma and probably from childhood and things like that. And so they might come across as kind of being controlling to get their needs met and not really vocalizing it right, or, or whatever it is too um, with this. So this is heart chakra work and healing inner child stuff. We have that coming up in this reading for both. And I have my... Um, king king of swords and this is like um reverse and this is this person is very in the mind they're very logical they might even get overwhelmed with the intense emotions and maybe even your intense energies divine feminine <laughs> intense emotionals they got to think it through they are logical they want to plan they want everything laid out and the problem with twin flame is, is a lot of the feelings and feeling the energy too so Oftentimes, this might be this person's strongest suit when we deal with this sword energy is logic. They might be a very mental person. They love to have conversations and stimulating conversations, and that might be their turn on too. And you might find Divine Masculine, whoever this reading is for, you might have a lot of air energy in your chart and that you need that mental connection. You need to talk things through. <laughs> like That's your turn on, right? And that you guys connect very strong, whoever this masculine is, you connect very strong to your divine feminine through that mental. And so we find that twin flames are oftentimes very telepathic. That's the mental, right? This is the mind and the meeting of minds. And so you're probably going to find whoever this reading is for masculine that you can read your divine feminine's not just their emotions, but their thoughts. <laughs> you're like, you pick up on what they're thinking all of the time. <laughs> like you're very telepathic. You can tell their moods, tell what's going on with them, you know, pick up things and not even just with them, like far away and things like that. So this is also opening up more that telepathic connection as you're getting more clear because we have this clarity as you're clearing your energy more you're going to notice that you're getting more and more telepathic with your divine feminine and this is like picking up on downloads and exchanging information even being apart you're getting information okay i'm going on that note anyways but i'm going to be around if you guys need me just go ahead and book me on my website sparks of divine light healing.com and have a beautiful day i do have healings and activations up for today like i said i have a really good twin flame clear and if you guys go find it and some nice activations check them out on my website today's a great activation day